Hey YouTube, it's Brooks, and today we are back with the all-new 2023 Lexus RX 350. As you're well aware, this is not only Lexus's best-selling product, but one of the best-selling luxury vehicles in the United States. Uh, so it's safe to say it's really big news when anything happens to this vehicle, uh, much less a full-up, uh, from-the-ground redesign. And that's what this is. Uh, this fifth generation RX rides on the new Toyota Global architecture, has three new powertrains, and a lot of new options uh, to keep the RX loyalists uh, excited as well as attract new customers to the brand and to the RX family. So I'm really excited to be behind the wheel of this one. Uh, this is a 2023 RX 350 front wheel drive luxury package uh, with the standard um, 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine. All-wheel drive is, of course, an option, as is a 350 hybrid uh, and a 500H uh, turbo hybrid uh, performance model for the first time uh, in the RX family. And soon to come in future years is the uh, plug-in uh, version of the RX. As always, as an employee of Toyota North America, these views are my own and do not reflect the, those of the company. This is, of course, Eminent White, which is one of the quintessential colors on the RX. Uh, I think a white RX is about as ubiquitous as you can get, and for good reason. The car is gorgeous and has great lines. Um, several things have retained from the prior generation to keep it that uh, unmistakable RX design, uh, yet it does have a lot of new features and, and design elements to keep it uh, interesting and new. Most notably, looking here at the back, you do still have that floating D-pillar, which looks really nice. We've got this new blade tail lamp that goes across the back here. Maybe it'll light up here when I, eh, not quite, but I'll, I will show you guys with the lights on after we start it up. Uh, and the Lexus logo stamped across the back. Got that integrated rear spoiler, looks very sleek. These gorgeous luxury package wheels here. Enjoy this nice graphite finish. A couple of different wheel options are available. Um, but again, these are uh, 21 inch wheels. Standard are 19, so bigger than uh, prior years, uh, which is a great touch. And apologies, it's not entirely the cleanest, but it's been raining 30 days and 30 nights here in Atlanta, so I'll take what we can get. Uh, this does have the uh, luxury package exclusive peppercorn interior, which I think is gorgeous. Very nice brown here with uh, these kind of um, fabric inserts uh, on the door cards as well, which I think really uh, stand out there with the Mark Levinson speaker grill integrated. Get you another look here. You can take a look at the front of the vehicle. Very sleek. Um, Lexus spindle grill here. The top is, is color keyed on any color that you get, so it blends nicely into the uh, hood of the vehicle. Uh, you can still tell the spindle shape, which is unmistakably Lexus, uh, but it's been subdued and, and kind of molds into the front of the vehicle uh, with that Lexus badge right there. Triple beam headlights here with LED fog lights down below. The luxury package does have these 14-way adjustable uh, seats, which I um, really like. So uh, new for 2023 is the thigh extender kind of punches out, if you will, like an accordion uh, rather than curl. It gives great thigh support there, and then you have four-way adjustable lumbar support. Starting up the vehicle. As I mentioned there, you're hearing the uh, turbo four-cylinder. We're just sending 275 horsepower through the front wheels and about 317 pound-feet of torque, so quite a, a torquey motor here. Just to get your bearings of what this model is, you can see the standard features off to the left here for this vehicle, the eight-speed automatic transmission. The safety is a, a big upgrade here with Lexus Safety Systems 3.0. Then, of course, that 14-inch Lexus interface. A couple of the standard luxury package features, and then added on to this model, 
Uh, most notably, you've got the digital rear view mirror, power, uh, power and heated and ventilated rear seats, those triple beam headlights, and then the uh, full glass roof, Mark Levinson, advanced park, surround view camera, traffic jam assist. Our total price, just 64 grand right there for this model. And then uh, your fuel economy, 22, 29, so slight bump, and I've been uh, averaging just in line with that EPA rated fuel economy number at 24.6 in combined driving. So I'm gonna do a quick look around the exterior and then check out the inside here. Of course you have blind spot monitoring. Um, you do have the digital latch system. If you're familiar with the NX, uh, this is an electronic door release here. So there's no actual physical door handle. And then on the inside, you have this digital latch here as well. So that um, will actually not allow you to open the, the door of the vehicle if it senses uh, uh, either a bicyclist, oncoming car, or something of that nature. Again, unmistakable RX lines, but looks great. Love the uh, color key fenders there. Cornering lights right here, and there's those LED fog lights. Parking assist, and this is uh, for your ad advanced park, like I mentioned, uh, which will self-park the vehicle. Love those triple beam headlights with the integrated swoosh and the uh, headlight washers right there as well. As we mentioned, uh, this is a new powertrain for the RX, but not a new powertrain to Toyota. This is the uh, 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder. Uh, variations of this are in the uh, Highlander as well as the NX. And um, great power. Um, honestly, I think if you're coming out of the V6, I don't think you've noticed the torque is, it's a much torquier vehicle than before uh, and available down low, which uh, really gives you the passing power that you want. And, to be honest, I don't think anybody is doing zero to 60 runs in their luxury package RX. Of course, I'm gonna to try to get my hands on uh, some of the other iterations of the RX to show those off to you as well. Love that uh, single blade tail light across the back, blends in so nicely with the vehicle. Uh, with Lexus stamped there right above it. You do have a kick sensor, I don't have the key with me, but power rear trunk is much quicker now. And the uh, cargo net and uh, tonneau cover are in the garage at home, but plenty of cargo space here. Um, you do have a 40-20-40 uh, folding second row, uh, which can be controlled off to the left here. And you do have um, some underfloor storage as well with the spare tire. Checking out the second row. Sorry, there are some groceries on the other side. But you do have these uh, rear sunshades here. Again, like I mentioned, the uh, beautiful um, fabric inserts on the door cards here um, with the digital latch. Power reclining second row. And that does power fold as well. And then a first um, for the RX, you've got heated and ventilated rear seats here with that third climate zone and two USB-C charging outlets. Nice little armrest. We'll get Siri to shut up there. And then you've got dual cup holders. Nice LED interior illumination up above and a great view with that uh, panorama full glass roof. One of my favorite views in this car is the detail here. You can kind of see the ambient lighting um, reflecting up on this fabric insert here, but I love the way this integrates. I've spent some time in a macadamia interior vehicle as well, and it really uh, does pop out very nicely with the bamboo trim. Not that this open pore trim is not any less beautiful, um, but they, I just wanted to comment that they all look very nice blends in nicely when the door card is uh, closed is there as well. Before I hop in, just want to show you how nicely that cockpit wraps around there. Taking a look at this door panel, again, pardon the mess, uh, but you do have 
uh, slightly newer uh, updated style window switches here uh, with of course uh, power folding automatic uh, mirrors for automatic windows plenty of storage here in the uh, door grab and then plenty of storage down below for all of my junk including two water bottles and then as you get in the vehicle you'll notice that the three-person memory seats have been located off to the left here behind the turn signal And then down below you have your releases for your power trunk as well as your fuel cap. Slight small storage bin here, keep some odds and ends. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Looking at that steering wheel, nice leather wrap with the wood insert right here. Automatic windshield wipers. And then you have your driver attention monitor right here, uh, which will read my eyes to make sure that my eyes are paying attention to the road. Uh, that feature is also comes in handy with traffic jam assist. Uh, which is somewhat of an autonomous driving uh, for low speeds. Say you're on the interstate in traffic under, you know, 20 miles an hour ago, stop and go, the car will drive for you uh, as long as you are looking ahead. Similar to the NX I showed you last year, you've got these touch capacitive D-pads on either side of the steering wheel, which will show up up in the uh, heads-up display. They are customizable uh, from the Lexus interface system. And this uh, bottom button here will kind of flip back and forth between the different menus and then again, the same thing off to the left. Kind of got the setup right now for cruise on the right and uh, audio and things on the left, as you can see there. Uh, kind of a configurable gauge cluster here. Um, go through different uh, information. Uh, we'll show your um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, navigation uh, through both this gauge cluster as well as the heads-up display, which is nice. And then you will see off to the right, kind of a new logo for Lexus, um, which is right here. Sorry, it's not focusing. That is for the proactive drive assist, uh, which will essentially um, act as a, uh, instead of being reactive like emergency braking, the car would uh, slow down for you if it senses vehicles in front of you that are slowing to maybe go, down, go around a curve or something of that nature. And you'll notice uh, when I put my foot on the brake, the rear tail lights do illuminate at the bottom here of the gauge cluster. Um, so you'll see that happen with uh, proactive drive assist as well. Of course, star of the show for the interior is this 14 inch Lexus interface um, display. Standard is a 9.8 inch display, which again, looks great as well. It's all touchscreen. There's no more remote touchpad or anything of that nature. At the bottom, you've got uh, two physical dial dials for your climate control, physical buttons for your um, defrost. And then I've got uh, touch buttons here for my climate control, as well as heated and ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel. And you can dial between front and rear as well. Opening up this sub menu here, you can change your driving modes, several frequently used options here. You can adjust some of your heads-up display modes. Safe, uh, safety packages here, and I, there's that proactive driving assist, turning that on and off. Uh, as I mentioned, close that up, open up climate if you want to uh, activate any other features there. Off to the left, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, like I mentioned. You've got all your other different uh, radio as sources and I can integrate my, uh, uh, let's say my uh, Amazon Music or my Apple Music if I had that to the vehicle. And then uh, Bluetooth phone, different vehicle settings here off to the left. Um, can fold the uh, rear seats from the screen here. And then through the vehicle, if you want to control your ambient lighting, you can do that here. There's some preset colors, or you can select custom. And again, it might not show up as well. I think you kind of saw it up there. Um, it'll show up obviously better at night, but you can select uh, basically any color you want here. You know, just play around with it um, however you'd like, and we'll just leave it somewhere around there. Uh, you can adjust the intensity. Several different features, but again, Lexus interface is kind of ubiquitous between all the models that it's featured on. So feel free to check out any other video about that as well, or drop a comment down below if you have a question. Um, below that here, this is the Advanced Park. 
um, which is unavailable right now because I don't have my seatbelt fastened, but essentially would back into a spot for me, parallel park for, for me, pull into a spot, uh, exit if I'd like. Got surround view camera, which I've gone on this diatribe before but that Doug DeMiro does not understand. It's not meant for this surround view camera. It's meant for when I'm in drive, have it set to automatic. I can see when I get to a slow speed, how close I am to a curb, or if I'm in reverse, you know, to see around yourself a little bit better. Uh, the camera resolution is incredible. I love it. Um, I think the resolution on all the screens is great. Uh, even the heads up display is super crystal clear. Um, HVAC down below here, nice little uh, phone storage holder, and then a big uh, deep console uh, bin here with um, USB type A and type C, plenty of room um, for storage. You've got your Qi wireless charger there. Two deep cup holders, that one does collapse down like the RX did in the previous generation. And then you have a did, um, an electronic shifter here, which is new for the RX, um, operates just like uh, all of our other models do. And I can just go back for manual mode and then P for park. You've got automatic start, stop on and off, brake hold, traction control and an electronic parking brake. And then you have the uh, famous dual hinge center console here, which has got plenty of room for all my crap. And then a very nice and deep glove box. And then up above, you do have the digital rear view mirror, which you can turn off like so with Garage Home Link and different options there as well. I love the rearview mirror. It takes a second to get it adjusted to. Kristen has it in her RAV4 and dad has it in his Tundra. And uh, I kind of don't like it when I don't have a model with that. I see somebody's head, uh, you know, in the rear seat or something like that. It's one of those things that you don't think you need until you've got, and I love it. Um, up above, got enough room in the uh, sunglasses storage for my gooders, touch capacitive um, reading lights, as well as controls for that full glass roof. So that was kind of a long video, but wanted to show you um, off or show off to you the new RX. I think it's very deserving of the length of the video. Um, if you've got any questions down below or please drop them down below and I'd love to uh, show you guys more about the car. Um, have a great day and I will chat with you all soon.